Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. In this recipe tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a creamy walnut sauce. You can make this recipe in a snap, round up one cup or 115 grams of walnuts, drop them into a food processor. I happen to be using chopped walnuts. They're gonna be pulverized, so it doesn't really matter, but you can use whole walnuts if you like. To the walnuts, I'm gonna add two minced cloves of garlic, and if you like that garlic type taste, you might add more. You might even add roasted garlic or even smoked garlic. That's the great thing about making a homemade sauce. You can make it to taste. If you like a certain ingredient, keep it in. If you don't like it, substitute it out with something else that you like, why not? Or if you wanna expand your mind with different flavors, experiment, live a little bit. After all of the garlic's in the processor, spank in some pepper and add a dash of salt. At this point in the sauce making process, you might also wanna add some additional weeds, herbs that is, some oregano, some basil, that'll work. The next step in the process is to add four tablespoons or 60 milliliters of oil. I'm using olive oil, extra virgin. You can use any neutral oil of your choice. Nice work, so here comes the fun part. You get to play with the machinery. Throw that lid on the processor and crank it up. At first you'll want to pulse it, maybe about five or six times. This will help mix all of the ingredients together. The goal here is to make a rough paste out of the walnuts. Whenever it's well mixed, you can turn the processor on completely and drizzle in increments water. Half of a cup, 125 milliliters. After all of the water has been added to the processor, blitz it for about 30 seconds, and then you can turn off the processor, grab a spatula, and remove everything from the sides just to make sure that it all gets incorporated up into the center of that processor so that everything is well mixed together. And it's not unusual to do this process a couple more times, so you'll blitz it a little bit more, whip out that spatula, make sure everything's off the sides. That way, you'll ensure that you have a really nice, smooth, and well-mixed sauce. So there you go. Step one of the sauce-making process is complete. You've made the walnut paste. Not too hard, pretty easy, right? So check it out, this is what you're going for. It should have this type of consistency. There should be a slight bit of texture of those walnuts so that you can taste them and see that they're in the sauce. It's time to move on to the next step, to add the cream. And oh, by the way, if you thought it couldn't get any better, this is a no-cook type sauce. So all you need is a mixing bowl. Round up that handy dandy spatula and drop in all of that walnut paste into the bowl. Once all of the walnut paste is in the bowl, it's time to add the heavy cream. Half of a cup or 125 milliliters. And I get a lot of questions from individuals in other countries. What is heavy cream? It's whipping cream and it's oh so delicious. Snag your whisk and go to town on it. After a quick whisk, this is what it should look like. And of course, there's one last thing every good cook does before the sauce is complete. You gotta taste it. See if you need to adjust the seasoning. You might like to add some salt, some pepe, some shrubbery, whatever makes it taste great to you. So now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, great. We've got this creamy, delicious walnut sauce that was very easy to make. So what in the world does it go on? Well, pasta, of course. Anything and everything goes great on pasta, but this sauce in particular goes perfect with pasta. For this batch, I used six ounces of dried shells, cooked them up, dropped them in. However, you could easily get away with 16 ounces of linguine or a spaghetti, whatever type of pasta that you like. There you go. That's how you make an easy, creamy walnut sauce. It's a great alternative sauce for pasta. Thank you for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Be sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned to the latest and greatest sauce making tips and techniques. Oh yeah.